Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to retrieve files from a non-operational VirtualBox virtual machine on macOS, how to restore accidentally removed VDI files and recover data after virtual machine crashed or got damaged. If you accidentally deleted important data from a virtual machine, its virtual disk got damaged or the virtual machine suffered a failure and now you've lost access to the files stored inside such a virtual machine, don't lose heart. In today's video, we'll explore how to fix this problem and restore access to your files. Before we get down to recovery, let's learn more about why data gets lost in VirtualBox. This will help you understand what went wrong and select the most appropriate recovery method. Accidental removal of VDI, VMDK, and VHD files, or file transfer or file damage. All of these things may happen when you delete files manually or empty the recycle bin where the files were sent by accident. The files can get damaged due to an emergency shutdown or when the VirtualBox app crashes. Formatting or reinstalling the operating system inside the virtual machine. When you do it, all data stored in the system partition is lost. A macOS file system failure. The container where virtual machine files are stored can be damaged and then the machine can't boot. A failed rollback attempt. In some cases, reverting the virtual machine to its previous state results in the loss of new data. In each of these situations, a different recovery approach will be chosen, from performing a simple manual check to using specialized data recovery tools like Hetman Partition Recovery. If the virtual machine won't boot, check if the virtual disk is available. If VirtualBox refers to a folder which doesn't contain the corresponding virtual disk file, make sure the correct path is used and if there is a the virtual disk file inside the destination folder. If it's not there, check the recycle bin. Open the bin and restore the file to its original location. If there are no virtual machine files inside the bin, it means that it might have been deleted without using the bin, or the bin has already been emptied. In this case, you need some specialized software to get your files back and restore the data. If the virtual machine files were not stored on the system drive, a professional tool like Hetman Partition Recovery will get you covered. This utility supports all popular file systems as well as most hypervisor apps. It will certainly help you recover deleted files in macOS or retrieve files from a non-operational VirtualBox machine. Follow the link in the description of this video to download the recovery tool. Choose the version for Mac operating systems. After that, install the utility by clicking on the downloaded file and following the wizard directions. Drag the shortcut to the folder containing your programs. The utility needs full access to hard disks to work properly. Go to Security Settings and grant access to your disk. Enter your user password. After that, open Launchpad and start the tool. Enter the user password to launch the app. To search for deleted files, right-click on the disk where they used to be stored and choose Open. After that, choose the scan type – File Scan or Full Analysis. We recommend beginning with a fast scan. This will take less time and it will help you recover data in most typical scenarios. As a result, the tool will scan the disk in no time and display all files and folders it has found. Open the folder where the virtual machine files were stored. If there are no files, run the full analysis, get back to the main menu, right-click on the disk, analyze again, full analysis, specify the file system and hit Next. To retrieve the file it has found, select the items you need and click Recovery. Now choose the path to save the files. Choose the disk and folder and click Recovery again. In the end, you will find the recovered files in the folder you have chosen. By default, they are saved to the Documents folder in its subfolder called Restored Files. 
Now the last step is to specify the path to these files in your VirtualBox settings. or move the files to another directory. After that, your virtual machine should start working just like before, and you'll be able to access the virtual disk data with no effort. If you backup your virtual machine regularly with Time Machine, you will be able to recover accidentally deleted files and restore operability of the virtual machine within a few minutes. Open Time Machine and go to the folder where your virtual machine used to be stored. Now select a backup with the date when your virtual disk file still existed and click Restore. After this operation is over, the virtual machine should start working just like before. If the virtual machine won't run, try connecting it manually. If you failed to restore operability of your virtual machine or if you accidentally deleted some of its data, you'll still be able to fix everything with the help of Hetman Partition Recovery. Start the app and look at the top of the menu to find and click on the button Mount Disk. Give the path to the folder containing VDI files, that is, virtual disk files, and click Open. If the folder contains files of several virtual machines, uh, select the one you need and click Next. Alternatively, leave all selections as they are, and then all virtual disks will be mounted. As a result, you will see the mounted disk in the Programs window. To start searching for data, right-click on the disk and choose Open. After that, choose the scan type – File Scan or Full Analysis. When the search is over, open the folder where the lost files were stored and recover them. Typically, users keep their files in the Documents folder. Select all the items that need to be restored and hit Recovery. Choose the password to save them and click Recovery again. Finish. One more method to restore operability of a virtual machine is to use VirtualBox snapshots. A snapshot is a saved state of a virtual machine. Snapshots can be created both manually and automatically. When a snapshot is taken, you can continue working with the virtual machine and go back to the state saved in this snapshot at any time. Such a snapshot will help you restore operability of a virtual machine if it gets damaged. To create a snapshot, open VirtualBox and the virtual machine where such snapshot should be taken. In the Mac menu, click Tools – Snapshots – Take Snapshot. Now, in order to get back to such a snapshot, you should click on Restore Snapshot option in the same menu. This way, you can restore operability of your virtual machine with the help of a snapshot.
Summing up, we have explored several ways of restoring access to the files of a non-operational VirtualBox virtual machine. To avoid similar issues in the future, remember to backup important data to an external drive or a cloud storage. Also, try not to run a virtual machine after a loss of data occurs and avoid copying large files to the machine so that the deleted data will not be overwritten. And that is all for now. I hope this video helps you fix the problem. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave your comments under the video. Thank you for watching and good luck!